Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, Text Knives. Brand new HTC One Max. Big shout out goes to Verizon Center over review unit. How does this six inch phablet compare to all the other ones out there like the Note 3, LG Flex, Lumia 1520? We're gonna find out in the full review, but for now, here's the unboxing. Okay, so here we go with the HTC One Max. Like I said, thanks to Verizon Center over review unit. Uh, very nice packaging. Uh, reminds it's very similar to the HTC One packaging. And um, let's see what we got on the back of the box. Probably got some specs here. This has got a 1.7 quad core uh, Snapdragon 600 micro SIM, 32 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM. Um, this also supports a, uh, a micro SD card up to 64 gigs, which is great. 5.9, you know, you can say six inch uh, screen going on here, boom sound, all that good stuff. Pretty much a carbon copy outside the micro um, SD feature that, you know, that isn't found on the original HTC One. But like I said, it's stellar packaging. Let's get into this and see how this phone compares. All right. So we got body of the phone, sit that to the side. I'm not expecting too much in the box and we really don't have, you know, basic HTC um, charger. Changed a little bit from the past. Still has got their branding on it. As far as the micro USB cable, it does have some branding on it as well, but you know, standard micro USB. Got some literature in here. Get to know your phone, global support, all this good stuff. Like I said, a lot of unboxings has gotten somewhat boring, SIM card info. So let's get into the device itself. Uh, nice built phone. I mean, it's always, you've never had a problem with having a built, you know, HTC on build quality. I mean, that's one of the things they've always done a great job with. They struggle financially, but the, the build quality is great. I'm definitely anxious to see what they're going to uh, bring to the table next year. Or well, this year, rather, with the rumors of the M8. Wow, this is massive. You know, holding this in my hand now. Definitely from the initial feel of it, it feels a, a tad different. The metal isn't all the way, you know, it doesn't seem it has as much metal as the original HTC One does. It, you got your fingerprint reader on the back along with the ultra pixel uh, camera. You see Verizon's branding on the bottom. Although you don't see the word Verizon, you, you, their, uh, their logo. Also see some connectors there if you want to use it for a, um, I, I want to say you can use that for like car chargers and stuff like that, car docks. Uh, it looks like you have a, a volume rocker here. I have to double check what that is. Actually, it may have been on the paper here. Yeah, that's a back cover lock. Uh, so that's what that holds it into. So pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and power this up. The power button on this. Well, maybe that's the power button. Let's try this out. Taking a little while to power that up. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and compare it to some other devices. Okay, so we did find the power buttons right here on the right side with the volume rocker. Yeah, that's just the like a cover lock. Some, so I'm gonna look more into that. Here it is compared to the infamous iPhone. Uh, you know, what more can you say? Four inch versus 5.9 six inches. Pretty crazy. Here it is compared to the Galaxy Note 3. So it gives you a good idea with the note um, very similar Th this is definitely more heavier in the hand with the aluminum but um, definitely holding it in hand is definitely uh, heavier but similar size but when you put them together it's definitely taller longer you know just in about every kind of way so that's comparison to the Galaxy Note here it is compared to the LG Flex now these are both um, this is a recent phone and both of them actually have about the same six inch screen. Now you do have a 1080p versus a 720p on the Flex. Obviously with the Flex you can see the curved display. With that curved display it does make it a little bit shorter at the top as you can see. Um, you know, scratch resistant back and all that good stuff. But yeah, very, if you've held the Flex, I, I'd say that the HTC One comes close to that. It is still a tad bit heavier than the Flex, I'd say. So that's the comparison to the LG Flex. 
Here it is compared to the Lumia 1520, another six inch phablet. Um, very, very similar in size. They're almost a, about the same length. And the Lumia is just a tad bit wider, as you can see. And on the back, there's, you know, comparison with the cameras and so forth. But I think the Lumia may be a little bit heavier or just about as heavy. I have to double check the weight on it. But that's the comparison to the Lumia 1520. And last but not least is a comparison to the good old HTC One. Um, as you can see, night and day, much bigger than the original HTC One. Um, same design a lot of ways. But like I was saying earlier, it just... You know, the way the plastic is, like the metal finish on the original HTC One, it came all the way out and kind of came up a little bit. Um, and there's more plastic, but it's not, not a big deal. But even at the top, you know, there, there's less uh, aluminum there, whereas on the HTC One, you see it kind of go around the edges a little bit more, which could be good, especially if you drop it, you know, it won't be, you know, it, as uh, damaging, so to speak. But... All in all, very similar phones, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you do see no, there's no more Beats branding on this one. I, I don't know if the Beats audio is even in it or not. I have to double check that. So, comparison to the HTC One. Obviously, you got your fingerprint scan here, which is the, the you know the latest new feature on this phone. So we'll test that out. We'll compare it to how it compares to the iPhone 5S. But thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to check out the site tech for more coverage. Take care.